Tonight we're looking at Cody. If you head on over to Cody.tv and on their website, you're going to find the ability to download what's called Cody Media Center. If you click on download, you'll see this is great because it's compatible with all different kinds of operating systems. So if you're looking, if you're using this on Windows, Linux, Mac, it doesn't matter. Choose your weapon. Even Android and Raspberry Pi and mm -hmm. iOS, how do you like that? So w once you have Kodi installed, now all of a sudden you've got a, a media center installed on your computer that allows you to watch tons of different videos. What's neat about Kodi is it is add-on, um, how do you say, it's add-on compatible. It uses add-ons to bring content to the system. You'll notice if you look at their website just above the downloads, it actually says, and they can't be any clearer than this, the official Kodi version does not contain any content whatsoever. This means, of course, that you need to actually install um, add-ons or channels and things like that in order to get maybe RSS feeds, whatever it is that you need in order to get content onto Kodi. It's strictly a player. The reason that that is like that and the reason that they are so firm about that is because, as we've mentioned on the show before, Kodi has been used for illicit reasons. So you're talking um, so, uh, video piracy, the ability to watch shows that you do not legally have the entitlement to, uh, to watch. Um, could one of you take, uh, it was actually Dave Cooper who sent in a, uh, a, a query regarding mm -hmm. Cody. So Dave says, how about a show on Cody and TV movie apps for it? Uh, I also, I searched for Cat5 on Cody and found nothing. A lot of people here in Ohio, uh, that's in the U.S., uh, are very interested. So a show on the ins and outs would be just great. Thank you. And that's the thing. If you install Cody, you get nothing with it. Right. You, you bring it up and you'll be like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do with this now? Yeah. Right? It's not... Everything's not there. It's not ready to go. It's like when you right. install an OS like Windows and you don't get an Office suite. Well, right. what do you do? We download it. You, no, well, no, you, you could ready. install LibreOffice, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yes. LibreOffice is a free alternative. But traditionally, people don't n maybe know that, and so they go and install, a, 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 purchase a copy of Microsoft right. Office or something right. like that. Yes. Kodi is bare bones, and you need to actually add things like add-ons. So tonight I'm going to show you how to install the Category 5 TV add-on. That gives you access to not only the live show, but any of our back, uh, back content as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our website. Now, having already installed Kodi on my computer um, and assuming that you're going to have done the same, um, Kodi is available in your repositories on Linux. So you don't have to go to their website and download it in order to install it on Linux. You can just go into your favorite package manager and type in Kodi, K-O-D-I, and you're going to be able to grab that. If you don't have access to it, if you're on Windows or Mac and you don't have a, uh, a package manager that works the way that Linux does, you can just uh, go over to Kodi.tv. Again, it's spelt K-O-D-I. So if I head over to our website, category 5tv TV. Jeff is much taller than Sasha and I. Um, so we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the site. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to go anyways. I may put a, a more prominent um, link in, in the top bar here because that would probably be a good idea. But in the meantime, if you go to, down to the bottom, you'll see links. And there's a button that says simply subscribe. And when you click on subscribe, you see Roku, Kodi, and Plex. Now, it was mentioned there, Dave mentioned that you got into Kodi and you started searching around the channel store looking for a Category 5 add-on, and it's not there. And we really, really do hope that eventually it will be there. Mm -hmm. There's actually, uh, I have an issue listed on GitHub on the Kodi add-ons page requesting that somebody do a PR to add our channel to the uh, to the official add-ons. It hasn't happened yet. I don't know what kind of turnaround we should expect from that. If somebody is a coder and wants to do that PR, hey, I'd welcome you to do so. Our channel's ready to go. It's Just tell to... them that you're the number one bald nerd. If they I should tell them right that, they'll be like, what kind of qualification is that? Top of Google, man. Your mom may be proud, Robbie. Google me. But 
say. Yeah, Google Google Bald Nerd. Do you know who you're talking Google. to? Yeah. Google. <laughs> That's, That's right. It's just like me, too. <laughs> so here on our website, anyways, in the meantime, Dave, and anyone else who wants it, all you have to do is just go to our website, category5.tv, click on subscribe in the, in the footer, and then download Cody plugin. And that's going to give you the file. So I've got it. There it is. So now that I have that download, did you notice how quick that was? Now, I'm doing this on Windows 10. You can be doing this on any platform. Now that I've got Kodi already installed, uh, because I did that on a previous show, I'm going to bring that up. And this is what Kodi looks like out of the box. Well, pff, my library is empty. Fantastic. What good is that for me? Uh, so what I want to do, you know, I click on TV shows and I say, well, there's nothing there. And I click on music. Oh, there's nothing there. So I'm going to go add-ons, keeping in mind that I have already downloaded that add-on from Category5.tv now. So it's on my hard drive as a what? A zip file from GitHub. So knowing that it is a zip file, I'm going to go over to... Um, well, I'm going to go video, let's see here, add-ons, my add-ons, go up a folder, and then install from zip file, that's what I want to find. The interface, I find, is a little bit clunky, but you will find your way around, and it changes from version to version, and I hate that. I hate that you know, you, you'll install an old version, and this may be obsolete. What? Sorry, I just oh. sneezed. <laughs> Bless you. That was a sneeze? <laughs> that was a sneeze. I'm like, I thought that was a headbutt. <laughs> no, I'm like, hold it in. Don't let it be seen. And oh, then no, you the switch to the wide me. view. I'm oh, like, no, the camera's ah, on this me. isn't going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've got, like, Ontario weather going on. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> My red. And back, to, and back to the show. <laughs> I, I really don't like it when interfaces change, and this one is no exception. It, it does change from version to version. Yes. But you're going to find your way around. What we need is that add-ons install from zip file. Now that I've done that, I can go maybe my home folder. No, that doesn't take me there. So instead, I'm going to go to C and then users, because I'm on Windows, right? So Robbie and then downloads is where my downloads are located. And I've got plugin.video.category5-master. I've got two of them, and that's because I downloaded it before the show, just in case our internet was wonky. So I'm going to click on the first one there, and what do you see? Category 5 add-on installed. What? It was that easy? Let's go back. And you notice how I'm navigating forward and back and things like that. Right-click takes me back. Right-click on my mouse, and left-click takes me forward. So that's how I'm going back, is by a right-click. Okay, so if I go to video add-ons now, what do I see? Category, category 5. 5. TV network. So it's not just Category 5 technology TV. This is the entire network. So let's click onto that. And look at us. Wow. So we've got the Category 5.TV newsroom. We've got immersive nature sounds, which is uh, like uh, nature recordings and uh, binaural. So you can hear it in, on headphones. You can hear the birds coming up behind you and things like that. Amazing. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, what else have we got? We've got new every day. Sorry, I'm learning the foot switches. Uh, new every day. That's our faith broadcast that happens every week. We've got Scratch Game Coding for Kids. That is More Timer's new show. We've got tech clips from Category 5 Technology TV. Of course, Technology TV as well. The Drone Zone, the Pixel Shadow, the Show Show, and the live broadcast as well. When we are live, that will work. So if I go into, for example, tech clips, you're going to see the seasons that are currently available for that particular broadcast. I'm going to go into season 11. And you'll notice that not all the seasons are there for tech clips, and that is simply because we haven't always done all the editing that is required in order to have something like tech clips. Right. So the ones that are there, I can actually... Look at that. I can just highlight it. I can find the clip that I want, and I can click on it to view. That's Very perfect. nice. I can right-click to go back, and... Oh, how do I get... See what I mean? The interface is a little bit wonky. I, I need to actually navigate dot, dot. Okay, so go back to Category 5 Technology TV. Look at that. So we've got seasons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Wow. Just like that. And again, this is absolutely free, and it's officially supported, and there you go with last week's episode, and two weeks ago, and so on. So it's as simple as that to get 
Category 5 TV network uh, up on your Kodi installation. Kodi is, again, free at Kodi.tv. We are not yet officially in the Kodi add-ons ecosystem, so you can't just right. do a search within Kodi for Category 5 yet. Um, but in the meantime, you can install our channel by going to our website, Category5.tv, scrolling down all the way to the bottom and clicking on subscribe, and then you'll see the Kodi add-on. Easy as that. Pretty easy. Good times. And this week it worked. Yes. Awesome. Because we've got a lot of folks that have been helping out. Check out the uh, the change logs and everything. Uh, if you go to our GitHub page, you'll see everybody who's been pitching in to make that possible.